The family of a Cape Coral teen murder suspect is now also facing charges. After the 16-year-old was arrested, Cape Coral police say his mom, aunt, and dad threatened to kill the family of his co-defendant. These are the two... <laughs> this better not be the one with a girl. We did the girl a couple weeks ago. The black girl got killed um, just for no reason. Um, coming home from the movie theater, this would probably be that one. But they they never showed us the teen and we, remember we thought it was a white teen and it's turning out not to be a white teen oh maybe the the white teen was the co-defendant and they're threatening to kill the white teen's family mm. Juicy. The family of a Cape Coral Pause. teen murder suspect is now also facing charges. After the 16-year-old was arrested, Cape Coral police say his mom, aunt, and dad threatened to kill the family of his co-defendant. These are the two boys charged yep. so far in the murder of 15 Yeah. So, yeah, they're trying to kill the fucking white. <laughs> oh, shit. Dude, you're yeah, like Sherlock yeah. Holmes up in this bitch. This was the we. This was this. This was the only one they showed on the first um, news story about maybe like a month ago, and um, I was we was all we, we was. I was just like, yo, that's crazy. A white dude killed a black girl, and I was like, and and it's not like national news. He was probably the trigger man. Of his co defendant. These are the two boys charged so far in the murder of 15 year old Kayla Rincon Miller. Investigators say Christopher Horn Jr.'s family wanted to keep Thomas Stein's family quiet. Kayla was walking with two other girls from the movies along Southeast 16th Place back in March when the group was ambushed and Kayla was shot. NBC2 Samantha Romero walks us through what detectives say Horn's family did to try to make sure Kayla's family never got justice. I don't know that. I'm sorry. It's Janice, it's okay, hon. Christopher Horn Jr.'s mom phoning into the courtroom just hours before police arrested even more members of her family. Look the at June this. Look at this. This family. Look at them. Yeah, those are some ghetto fucking bitches right there. <laughs> <laughs> the, Bra the Brady bunch. <laughs> like, bruh. Those are some fun are like, women. These people are like barely human, just barely. Oh God, the, eighty, the eighty IQ at best. The eighty, you, you crazy? That's man. on the low end of the. You crazy? <laughs> Yo, it, like, it's not even the IQ because, like, even if they had an okay IQ, you just know they're awful fucking people. Yeah, the glandular response, the the, the um the the um. The goddamn um, gratification deferment, the responses, the stimuli. Yeah. The selfishness. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Selfishness. The dark tri triad or triad or whatever the fuck it's called. They got those like psychopathic fucking sun woman traits. Yo. It's really probably cool. worse if they were smarter. That'd probably make it worse because then they'll just be better at fucking your life up. Yeah, that's true. That is a good point. Damn, look at that. These are the ones that aren't get arrested. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a that's a yes. full on like rogues gallery right there. Not arrested yet. I don't know that I'm sorry. It's, Janice, it's okay, hon. Christopher Horn Jr.'s mom phoning into the courtroom just hours before police arrested even more members of her family. The two new arrests were just recently this afternoon. Stein is another teen charged with Kayla Rincon Miller's murder. Today, new documents revealed exactly what led up to the arrest of Horn and his family members. It all begins with Kayla's murder on March 17th. The new warrant says the day after the murder is the first time Jessica Stein was threatened by Christopher Horn's family. It says Christopher Horn, accompanied by his mom and dad, went to Stein's home. They told Jessica Stein she needed to come with them and she needed to bring her son. Fearing for her life, she and Thomas followed them to 
a nearby park where they were apparently surrounded by sisters Varaka and Shanice Stewart while Christopher Horn Sr. sat in a car nearby. They allegedly told Jessica Stein she needed to keep her son quiet. The warrant says Christopher Horn Sr. flashed a pistol. It goes on to say Shanice told Stein if someone took her child, then Shanice would, quote, take one of hers. The next... So the black mom told the white mom if someone took her child, as if like him being arrested for murdering a woman, girl in cold blood for nothing at all would be taking her child. If someone took her child, then Shanice would, quote, take one of hers. The next day, March 19th, Cape Coral Police pulled over Thomas and Jessica Stein's rented car along Bayshore Road and arrested Thomas. You could see it in this video. Yo, what in the North Fort Myers is happening right now? They got this lady out at gunpoint. Then on March 20th, the warrant says sister Shanice and Veraka Stewart returned to Stein's house, threatening Jessica again. Jessica Stein told police the sisters told her Thomas was talking too much after his arrest. They said, remember I told you that judges that release these guys out on bond the day after they do a, like a crime, they don't they don't account for this type of behavior. You know what I'm saying? If some man shoots some shit up in his neighborhood, and then it's like, all right, um, you released until the until the court date. You're releasing someone back into the neighborhood who is now going to um, commit witness tampering and witness intimidation on a level that is just barbaric yeah but like we we kind of already talked about this right because it's like that that what you just said is because it's a glider system presumption of innocence it's meant for gliders that are gonna maybe do one offense but when they get let out on bail they're not gonna go and ruin the community because it just wasn't built for like the sun man in mind type of thing that's why it yeah. works this way. So we're kind of fucked. Yeah. It's just crazy, man, that they don't account for that. It's like it's like you would think that after all this time, dealing with son criminal after son criminal, with city after city, jurisdiction after jurisdiction, they would understand that. Well, like, like okay, let's say it's like Auk, Judge Auk Nation is up there, and you do account for this. Your hands are fucking tied, though. Like, it, as the judge, like, your hands are tied. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Because the, the system is built with, uh, is built that way, basically, because the system was built for glide, for a homogenous glider society, essentially. Wow. He said they had people on the inside that could get to him. That same day, NBC2 talked to Jessica Stein. The detective came out and spoke with me and told me that my son has been investigated for the murder in Cape Coral. Stein. Thanks for joining us here on Fox 4. I'm Dominga Murray. Our top story, things have taken another turn in the case of a teen shot and killed in a Cape Coral street on St. Patrick's Day. Deputies say they had to arrest the mother of one of the suspects. Now you remember Thomas Stein and Christopher Horn are accused of killing Kayla Rankin Miller. Oh You're shit, he's smiling. He trying to act tough and shit. Like, boy, you scared as shit, boy. Stop playing. <laughs> We know the family of the other co defendant threatening you and your mom and shit. You scared as shit, boy. Stop trying to act up. Accused of killing Kayla Rankin Miller during a bizarre robbery attempt. Both are 16 and both are charged as adults. We have three young girls. I believe the detective testified they were approximately all 16 years of age. They had gone to a movie and were just walking on the streets of Cape Coral um, in, the, in the open public and were targeted, uh, all with firearms pointed to their faces, uh, one of which was fired and ended in the death of, of a victim. But now... So they just walked up... His mom knows that her son walked up on this girl and blew her brains out just for no reason. Didn't know him nothing. Just rolled up on him and blew her brains out. And she's smiling in her mugshot being arrested 
for witness intimidation? No solution. <laughs> yeah, not much that can be done about that. She like literally doesn't give a fuck at all. Wow. One of which was fired and ended in the death of, of a victim. But now Horn's mother is also in trouble, charged with obstruction of justice. Deputy yeah, Sather investigating bored in court. He's sitting in court <laughs> looking bored and shit. Like, yo, hey, when I'm gonna get out, man. When they gonna give me my mom and shit. <laughs> Wrap it up. I'm trying to play yeah, Wrap it up. Whoa, Wrap man. it up, glider. <laughs> this little bad bitch just trying to see me tonight, man. What the fuck I'm getting out of here, man. Investigating witness tampering where Stein and his family were threatened at gunpoint by Horn's family. Deputies say Thomas Stein's mother was ordered not to speak to police or another of her children would be harmed. Who are the people that were identified as tampering uh, with her and her son? Ultimately uh, identified in the case was Shinny Stewart, Christopher Horn's mother, Veraka Stewart, Christopher Horn's aunt and Christopher Horn Sr., his father. And here's something else. Well, we like you said, Nick Tal Javon, father being around, man, doesn't really seem to change the situation all that much, Bro, man. Look, man. All the all the online black niggas, they ain't gonna talk about this shit. <sighs> We learned right Hawk, after the March Hawk, one day you're gonna have to bear mace these dudes at your board. house. He said bear mace. You're gonna have to bear mace them out of your house because they're gonna be trying to holler at your daughter. Listen, what? man. I, there's there's nothing you can do about that, man. If you tell your daughter to not deal with those types, it just pushes them more into that. Yeah. So it's like you really gotta just kind of like just double like, up on the bear mace. Stay. That's all you can do. Just oh, have no. bear mace hidden all over your house. They can't like a fight Bond that, movie. They can't fight that Sun Man energy. It's yeah, a kitty. Yeah, man. But I, but those Sun Man that that he was talking about I, that uh would not touch this or they will they will push back like this ain't indicative of the Sun community, and maybe to an extent, but at the same time it kind of is, you know, because. How, like this happens so much. It happens literally all of the time. Not I mean literally all the time. This is just sad, man. This girl's dead. Just walking home from the movie, a car pulls up, some sun turds get out, hop out, shoot her in the face, and then just ride off and shit. And that's her fucking life just over with, man. And then all this mess afterwards. God. And here's something else we learned. Right after the March 17th murder, the Horn family moved their belongings and left their home. And this is why it took officers just about a month to find Horn and arrest him. It's also no surprise the judge denied bail for Horn Thursday as prosecutors reminded the court Horn posed a risk to public safety. But what about the mom, the one who was actually doing the witness intimidation? Does she pose a threat to public safety? Or does she get to get out? Now, police have said more arrests are possible. We'll update you as we learn more. In studio, Dominic. Jesus Christ. T2 is on top of breaking news about a teen girl's murder in Cape Coral. Now, stay with me here. This just got a little convoluted, but it is interesting stuff. Police say Christopher Horn Jr., his mom, his dad, and his aunt showed up to the home of the other suspect, Thomas Stein, the day after the murder of 15-year-old Kayla Rincon Miller. This was back in March. Now, these are old mugshots of Warren okay. Sr. and the aunt, Varakis. Detectives say that the family had a gun. They threatened to kill Stein and his mom if they talked to police. NBC2 Sarah Metz is live on Southeast 16th Place where Kayla was murdered. And Sarah, walk us through how police say the family was trying to impede this investigation. <laughs> Yeah, according to police reports, this family tried everything they could to try and keep Christopher Horn Jr. out of jail and to also try and keep the other suspect, Thomas Stein, from talking. They're accused of threatening Thomas Stein's mother and killing all of her children. 
Arrest reports say Shanice Stewart, Christopher Horn Sr. and Jr. all showed up to Thomas Stein's house in North Fort Myers on March 18th. One day after Kayla Rincon Miller was killed and one day before police arrested Thomas Stein. Came to their house to state that, um, hey, um, Thomas Stein and Christopher Horn, they were involved in Kayla's murder last night follow us so out of fear for their lives they followed them to a location in Cape Coral. Both Stein and Horn Jr. were at this meeting. Now it took weeks after the meetup for Stein's mother to talk to detectives about what happened according to reports. She told police Shanice Stewart, Horn Jr.'s mother, Horn Sr., his father, and Veraka Stewart, his aunt, threatened her. Christopher Horn Sr. actually brandished a pistol at that point. After that conversation between the families, Stein's mother says the threats continued over the phone and in person. Reports indicate the threats even increased after Thomas Stein was arrested. Shanice Stewart's arrest report says, quote, she told his mom she had people on the inside who could get to him if he talked. Many phone calls were monitored by police after Stein confided in them. They have recordings of who they say is Shanice Stewart telling Stein's mother her son was talking too much and he needs to stop because she, quote, is not playing games. But after tracking all the different phone calls, we were able to come up with um, all the different charges for all the people involved. It took almost a month after Stein's mother came forward about these threats for Horn Jr. to get arrested. And weeks after his arrest for his mother, aunt and father to also face tampering charges. Now, as for Shanice Stewart, Horn Jr.'s mother, she was actually arrested at the courthouse yesterday morning and she bonded out then this afternoon after making her first appearance. We do know that she's supposed to be GPS. So the people actually doing the witness tampering are released the same day, the next day. Dangerous. Poor white woman. Now, Stein's mom is just in the world with them. And the judge is like, all right, now, I'm sure he said, uh, stay away from Stein's mom. Run along, run along. And they're like, they're like okay, we'll stay away from her. And we Peace all know that they, would, they will kill her ass. We all know that. If they can hit her. Unbelievable, man. This is this is just a weird system. And listen, man, I know you you already explained it. Luca. I get it. It's made for, like we always say, it's made for gliders. In my, I get it, man. But right, right. I still, mean, though. yeah, still. Like, like, like yeah, new guy, we we would have been through half a dozen tires by now. Yeah. Like new guy, if the gliders are so like as smart as I imagine you think they are, why can't they? <laughs> Grasp this concept. Because fucking racism, bro. That's basically nah, the answer. Nah, fuck that. They're like, just so they paralyzed. That, that so if they're so smart, why can't they see past that? Because they're just fucking paralyzed. They're just cucked. They're just race cucks, basically. Like, look, look at it this way. If every glider, if, if me and Fisherman were like the avatar of the glider society, this would not be happening. But we're not. We're the opposite yeah. of that. That's a huge. That's a huge if, though. That's a that's the biggest if I ever seen. But if, uh, the Umbrito, if, if, the, if I was official on burritos, the burritos would be in better shape. I think too. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, as Ox says, there's no solutions. That's what this is like. Yeah, it's none. Just... Yeah, no solution. Everybody sucks. I think. Yeah. This yeah. is. Listen. Go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say, man, like I was gonna just to reiterate, I don't give a fuck what no if any of y'all go to a black YouTube uh conservative channel tomorrow and hear man, these <laughs> black bitches raising these kids and you know they don't have no fucking dads in the home. That's why right. they they failing and going to jail and doing all this yeah. shit. Right. Just to show them this shit. It's not yeah, gonna no. matter, though. those it's guys not are gonna fucking matter. retarded, no, no. man. Those guys are so fucking stupid, and they make but, it to like three million subs just like yeah. saying that shit. But they it's not this. gonna matter. Is that fair, Javon? It's not gonna matter if you're the strongest. 
Oh uh, yeah, well yeah, it's not gonna matter, but they get to just they get to just reiterate the yeah, same I shit. Know. Yo, it's these black bitches' fault. This is black women' fault. They love thugs. That's the right. problem. You know, oh, I, I never. That's a good point. I I was thinking about that recently. I don't understand that thought process where, like, you know how some men against okay, some women and whose fault it is. I think it's obviously the men, right? The men, in my mind, should you know step up, right? Not just some men, but the men. The man steps up. Right. No, no, I got you. But the thing about it is, man, we we don't think like that, man. We don't see it like that. Um, as the men, we 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 like like look at fishermen though. Fisherman blames his women. So it's like it's not just some men. Yeah. No, no, I'm not I'm not saying just some men, but I'm saying it's particular to this whose fault is it that the stand is in disarray? I think yeah. it's the men. No, no the point is that if you, if you let women do what they want, they create chaos. It's genetic. You can't, you can't, you can't let women vote. You can't let women run courtrooms. They will create chaos every time. Salute the bugger off, man. Bugger off in the building. He says, "Hit the like button, freeloaders." Um, <laughs> he gets a membership for six months. That's big. Salute the slap. Happy, he says, you motherfuckers rock. Love your channel. Keep on. Thank you, slap happy. Miss S66 from across the pond. He says, I still can't get a membership on iPhone or iPad. Damn, that's crazy, man. Um that's fucked up, man. Um, next time you have you're at a near a computer, man, make sure you sign up for a membership. Next time you're near a, a, a laptop, a, compu- a, a, a computer. Yeah, com- a computer. Computer. Yeah. Um, computer. yeah it, it, and, and if you're not a black kid from the Bronx, man, you actually know what a computer <laughs> is. Yo, yeah. yo, yo, I, speaking of that, I so when are some people gonna demand she get fired? You know how some people are all about getting people fired. That's definitely fired it is. Who? Who? The governor of New York. They should. When are they going to try to get oh. fired? She's a, she's Democrat. a Democrat. Yeah, and, so and, and 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 speaking of fired, who thinks that this bitch is going to walk into her job on Monday like nothing ever happened? The shit stain. Nothing. Her job. Come on, she don't have no job, bro. Shit, you crazy. These black women be where who yeah. you think were where you ever been in a place bro. you do leave the house? It ain't true, true. You she, go. She, she, you she, she probably works at the at the DMV. <laughs> I think oh. this is her job, just terrorizing people essentially. <laughs> right, right. Oh wait, uh Someone's this not the uh but uh did you see that actual Justice Warrior video about the governor? Chick, what do you man? I, I fell off on that guy. I can't take him anymore. Right. I can't take. I, they're just, bruh. Just the DNA. It's just. It's just like bro, he misses. Nah. He misses the mark Dang, on a lot of bro. stuff. Dang. What do you say? I didn't. I, I actually like. I like some of his videos. Yeah, I like him too. But uh, I, I was just gonna say. Uh, he said, um, "NYC governor says blacks are dumb." And then I just looked immediately in the comments, and then everybody was like, "Is she wrong though?" And he hey, never, yeah. he never. Yeah. Yo, but him not touching DNA again, new guy. You understand why, right? You understand that, don't you? Yeah. You don't have to agree yeah. with it. I don't think he would admit. I don't think he believes that's why. I, I, I will I, bet you money. I, he does. I, well, hold on, I think, man. You can't say that just because he's not. Well. Well, me listening to his vi- me me listening yeah. to his videos though he really doesn't seem to carry. He seems to think of it more as just like a culture thing. Yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay, interesting. A culture that I, I would think he does. Yeah, I, I would think he thinks it's DNA, but I see what you're saying. I heard him say he thought it was culture before, but then I, in the back of my mind, I always say. How the fuck do cultures form, bro? Right. Exactly. Exactly. 
But but the, the culture is just a dog whistle at this yeah, point. Yeah, it's a dog, right? At this point, it's a dog whistle, bro. Yeah, 